welcome, welcome to a new episode. Yeah. <laughs> so you would have seen us just come from um, Bendila Reserve, where all the wombats are. You finally saw a wombat. Kangaroo Valley. I'll yeah. tell you what, it's it's been a magic moment just to see the wombats and spend like afternoons and evenings going hunting for them, and it, it was be, it was a really cool experience. But yeah. um, I now feel like we've we've, we've filled that bucket, and now that I see wombats, it's just okay. It's just another wombat. But yeah. <laughs> it's definitely cool for that sort of things. If you're like us and you've never seen them in person. Highly recommend going out there because you can guarantee 110 percent you will you see will, a wombat you will see one if you don't see one i will give you a large sum of money no no nah. you will see one you will see one <laughs> it wouldn't happen anyway seriously nah, but seriously. yeah so now we're at lake wallace which is inland in new south wales like on the inside side of the blue mountains so we've yeah. been here for what one night so far two um, nights oh yeah we've done two nights we did kind of a work day yesterday, but today we're hopping out. We're gonna go and have a look around. There's quite a few things in the area. And Chris put up one story yesterday, just saying where we were and everyone like came in with their messages. Make sure you do this, make yeah. sure you see that. So I've definitely um, got, got into the routine of trying to put up where we are without actually showing you where we are. Um, just for that sort of things. Cause you get a lot of uh, you legends out there that are locals to these areas. And we get some of the best information from you guys. Yeah. And that's exactly what's happened this time. I've had, I don't know, four or five messages, detailed messages of things to go and see uh, and check out and stuff. So thank you so much to everybody that's reached out because it's people like you that give us ideas and content to go and film um, mm -hmm. and showcase an area because a lot of these places, especially here for some reason, oh my God, there's a bug on my foot. For some reason, I'm getting a lot of messages of saying, this is my hometown. Like there was a lot, there's a lot of people that come from Lithgow area, which was surprising. So. Um, it's, if you're it's, from with Lithgow, hello. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of cool that we can come here and showcase it in our big Oz way mm. um, to show you guys as well. Even if you were living here or are still living here, it's uh, it's, it's kind of cool to showcase and really just put these places on the map as well. So pretty much um, we're going to give you a bit of a walk around of this campsite when we get back. But for now we're going to go out today and um, we've got a couple of things to do I think. Hey. Yeah, I've got a few bits and pieces we can go around and have a look at. So, so we we'll um, just show you when we get there. Yeah, no, we'll just take you along the for the ride. It's a killer day so there's no reason why we can't go and do as much as possible and make the most of today. Let's go hit it. Let's go and do it. It felt really close. It was. I thought so. You chopped your head off. Did you notice you had your head chopped off? Oh, that's so much Oh my better. God. So apologies to the huge, we really massive zoomed. forehead that you probably had <laughs> on your big screen TV. I just realized that was zoomed in. Did Everyone's probably thinking, what the hell? It's bloody close. Does he not know? Yeah. Yeah, you can funny. see every wrinkle and gray hair possible on my forehead, I reckon. You're aging. Yeah, I'm aging. Joys of having kids though. Yeah. So anyway, Let's go. I will film the rest of the day like this. <laughs> In normal settings. <laughs> Have you learnt anything yet? things to look at. Oh, like what you can see. Yeah. Mm, you have to tell us when we get there then. You almost need to take a photo of it just so you remember what to look for. Yeah. <laughs> there's, well, there's 23 things. There's quite a fair bit to look at. It's actually kind of cool. Yeah. Gives you a reason to come up and actually uh, have a look around properly. So our first stop for the day, we didn't have to drive very far from where we've been camping and we're going to the Hassan's Walls Reserve. There's a pretty cool looking lookout here. We had a look on Google and I'm really hoping we find this hole in a wall, which I'm assuming is here somewhere. And um, if you can see what I'm looking at, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, it's a pretty cool spot. We haven't even made it out there yet. It is very, very yeah. nice. It's like such a primo day to be up at a lookout, to be taking in as much as what we can see. It is really, really cool. Uh, so the road in was mainly bitumen and just dirt right at the end. There's a couple of speed humps, which you need to look out for. <laughs> Chris found one and we nearly lost a bloody... I just had to repack the, the rear of the car because yeah. crap went everywhere. <laughs> Absolutely everywhere. So watch out for the speed bumps. But yeah. other than that, the road itself is fine and it's all well signposted and it's really not far out of town. Yeah. So let's go have a look. How cool is this?
As we were walking out here, you were just seeing the kids. I've turned around, I've found the hole in a wall. I don't think you're supposed uh, to walk there, but... Yeah, well, there must be, because it's got fencing, whatnot. It's only just, we can get there. We will get there. We're going there, because I really want that photo. I'll show you. Over there. That big hole. We're going in there. So, fun fact, that's the car park. This is where we just came into. The one we went down was on the footpath. See this one? If you go slightly to the right, this is the big window down here. So just fun facts, if you're looking for the window, chuck a right at the steps. Kind of a pathway. Oh yeah, it's a makeshift one, it'll do. literally a hole in a rock. How cool is that? And then That's, a, even a big hole. That must have been chiseled out at some stage. And I know inside your big hole. You're gonna show us the big hole? Yeah. It I'm glad you're big. I'm glad you're saying that the right way and you haven't made it into something else. <laughs> like poking holes. It's like check out my big hole. Yeah I feel safe about it. We're good. Mum's safe about the fencing. Yeah, I wanted to go first. I'm like, I want to make sure, just in case it's not maintained, but we're good. How bloody cool is this? This is a better lookout than that lookout. Yeah, 100%. This is awesome, babe. Look at all wow. the rock you can see. All the look at all the colours and the layers. Oh, you, can, you can see so much more. I guess you can't see the valley, but the detail here. Yeah, that's really naughty. People shouldn't do that. That's called graffiti. Bought it on the 12th, 2017. And that was 19. Like, this is a big hole, Beto. This is... Just stay there forever. This is the sort of stuff that I just don't like seeing. It annoys me. It's It doesn't need to be there. And it's a big reason why a lot of places get shut down. You can't do things and go visit. It's just... Yeah. Take a picture. Yeah, it lasts take longer. Take it with you. Well, no, it doesn't last longer. But you can take it with you at least. A picture? Yeah, you can take a picture with you. Oh, that's what I'm saying. A picture lasts right. longer. Take well, no, that'll last right. for a long time. Yeah, until it wears away, hopefully. Hey, it's Aboriginal... a baby one. Yeah. Aboriginal art has lasted 40,000, 30,000 odd years. Yeah. That's no different. Oh, get it off. Come on guys, you didn't really think he could fly through that hole did you? It was way too windy.
So Chris was just looking at the map and where we can actually go. And it's telling us to go the main way back into town. It doesn't want to focus on this bit. Focus there. There we go. It's telling us to go to the left, which is the main way into town. But then there's a sign that says you can go to the Vale of Cluid. Embracey Lookout? I don't know. Bloody hard but there's, there's a track. You can see my shadow. It's kind of following it there. It's hard to see. Yeah, you can go down along here, chuck a left, and then come into the back of Lithgow. Um, there's Bracey Lookout by the look of it too, which is on the on the sign there. So, in true Big Oz style, I don't like going back the same way if possible. If you can get to the Avoid same location, those speed bumps. Well, that too. But if you can get back to the same location but go a different way, why the hell not? Because you and find looks, things. Yeah, you find things. It looks like a nice little sort of dirt road, four drive, four drivey kind of track. Um, so yeah, we'll go and check that out and see what we can find. Might have a look at that lookout on the way down. And then we'll go and have a sneaky uh, lunch session at, uh, at... the Blue Fox. Yeah, the Blue Fox. We'll show you when we get there. Looks pretty cool on the uh, Google. Photos and bits and pieces. So Reviews. Yeah. yeah, pretty keen. So let's that's go. the plan so far. So let's go and do it. I don't know why. Because he's been eating chips. Yeah? You're kidding. Yeah, that's what you do. Oh, yummy. That's chewing gum. I love bloody chewing gum. Disgusting. Leave it alone. Yeah, thanks, yeah. Nothing better than a nice bit of chewy on a hot day. Hey? Oh, that's so crap. These are my new Archies. That's alright, we'll get it off. Look at it. <laughs> Looks like a big bird, bird turd. Ew. Don't step on it again. You're about to step on it again. Where is it? Right there oh, in front yeah. of your right foot. What's that? Is that a shell on its leaf? Oh, right. Really? It's a lot of it now. Yuck. Good. That was absolutely that was amazing. amazing. Yeah, we'd uh, done a little bit of research, research on the Google, research, research. <laughs> a bit of research on the uh, Google, and just found out what was pretty popular in town or where to go. And the Blue Fox came up. Yeah, there was this one and one other, and this had the second highest amount of reviews. And just the pictures of the food looked amazing. I was like, oh, I was going to say eat that. The, the photos definitely got me going. It's, yeah. it's a really old school sort of setup. Um, they've really refurbished it and done a really great job. 
amazing food, as Sean just said, and uh, I'd Friendly highly recommend. Staff. Yeah, I'd, I'd highly recommend coming and checking it out. It was actually a good feed, and it's just in the middle of town. Like it's not far to go. You don't have to travel too far. Park um, out the front. Yeah, perfect. So it's real quirky. You'll remember it. Yeah, yeah, totally. All right. Well, now we're going to leave here. We've got some old ruins to have a look at, and then one last thing at the end of the day. So we'll mm. meet you there. We got a jam-packed afternoon. So we've been doing some reading and I said to Jada, read this sign and I want you to tell us what's here. So what's here? I'll tell you two. What have you learned, Jada? What have you learned? I've read it, but I don't really get it. Okay, what that's, do you get from it? That's her excuse for everything. No, I'm actually serious though. Well, it was like a big engine, train engine thing. One of... The steam... The little... Resi... It's a steam reciprocating. engine. Reciprocating. Reciprocating steam engine. That's what it is. So, um, how heavy was it? 335 tons. Yeah. And what was it used when for? When was it when was it installed? 1923. And what's the cool fact about it? It was the largest en engine of its type in Australia. Can you ask us something without a looking at it? <laughs> Probably not from them. That's all the key things. So yeah, pretty much the largest engine of its type in Australia is a horizontal reciprocating steam engine and it weighed 335 tonnes and was installed in 1923. So Jack's found himself quite entertained by the, the water bubbler. We were at a uh, playground the other week at Wollongong and he was playing and then he found the water bubbler and he was there for probably 15 minutes. I actually had to drag him away from it. So I don't think he's uh, seen too much about a bubbler. He's very fascinated by it. Small things. What are you doing, Jack? Making a mess. Unreal, mate. Come on, let's go. freaking out. Oh, I can't get down. Freaking out at the top because they're not exactly the best looking stairs to be walking up and down on. No, they're definitely missing a lot of pieces. He was happy to go up but it's always coming back down so. Yeah. Mum There's went to the rescue. Up there. There's like an old round, probably one of those turbine things. Well, I don't know what he could not turbine. Chimney. Like chimney and all the pieces that go with it and there's extra walls and everything up there. Jada wanted to go explore. I'm like nope we're gonna stay on the pathways because then I know Jack's safe because he follows her. So we'll keep walking around. There's information down here anyway. Let's go read. What's that? What's this? What is that? Do you know what it is? No, I don't. Is it glass? Come on, Crystal Queen. <laughs> what is Quartz. it? No. Silver. What's it look like? Silver. No. Gold. What do we use this for? Come on, Jada, I think. Iron? Yeah, so do you remember what the name was? 
iron ore. Iron ore. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what do they make from this? They make metal. Yep. They make steel. Pretty they cool, like huh? steel. Yeah. Like One more question. Yeah. And I don't know whether you'll know the answer to this or not, but I'm going to test you. Why are bits going red? Because it's where the metal's been made, I think. What happens to metal? It, it, it melts. It, what happens when it gets like old? It goes like this. What it goes rusty. Yeah, so what do you think this is? Rust. And why is that? Because it's been wet and salt in it. Because normally when it's been in salt, it rusts. Because it's got metal in it. So you can see like on this picture, it's hard to see actually, but there's these things in behind. And the picture I saw earlier, they were definitely metal. But then when you look up there where I was, there was those round bits that I said you could stand near. I'm assuming that's where they were. And that looks like it's maybe a melted one or something. Looks like she's had some heat in it. it. Looks like something out of like Lord of the Rings. Yeah, like it's fallen out of the sky. Yeah. You shall not pass. G'day and welcome to Bathurst. Yeah. So I think the most iconic thing to do. Iconic. 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 Iconic thing to do while you're here. You don't have to be into racing or know your racing cars or anything like that to know Mount Panorama. Mm. Bathurst 1000, like it is yeah. one of the biggest races in Australia, hands down. So I only around the corner, this is the home of it. And I've been told you can take your car on the track and go for a drive. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Jack's absolutely <laughs> hanging for it. He's been like, when are we going on the track? When are uh, we going on the track? We've only told him a couple of times and just from what we've told him, not too much great detail, he's absolutely frothing yeah. to hit the track. Hey Jack. That's like right up yeah. his alley. What do so you wanna do? I'm so excited. Um, doing a racing flap. <laughs> yeah. That's all he wants to do. all he's been talking about this whole time in the car. When are we getting the racetrack? Are we going now? When are we getting there? So yeah, we're um, we're gonna go hit the track, but uh, while we're here in town, we're gonna be here for two days. We're camping at the showgrounds at the moment. Mm. How much was it? Um, it's $30, $30 for power and water, or 25 for unpowered, but water. Oh, okay, so, well there yeah. you go. So it's not too bad, it's like basically in the central part of town, by the, what, for what I can tell. Um, it's the weekend at the moment and there's a fair happening which is for um, like military memorabilia and that and there's yeah. people everywhere. Um, there's people busy. running around the track doing the trot, well not running, they're like riding around the track <laughs> doing the trots. Yeah. Um, then you've got all your camping areas, they've got different areas throughout but they've got an office, they've actually got a really good computer system, they've got friendly staff, like it was one of the easiest showgrounds to come to in a sense. Um, if you don't want to pay for accommodation though, down the road the Lions Park. I can't remember the exact name of it. I'll put in the details over here. Um, the Mom. Lions Park is free accommodation. Mom. That's just down the road as well. So oh, you go. keep that in mind. And then I think there's caravan parks here, but I didn't even look into them. In all honesty, I actually wanted to go to the free camp down the road. And then Chris pulled in here and there was that many cars and just different things going on because there's events on. I was like, why are we, what? Huh? Well, Sean was doing we something on her road. phone and I'm just beelining to wherever I could possibly put and into the GPS. And then he already pulled in. I was like, okay, we're going to the showgrounds then. So Sorry. this is where we are. Yeah. We're only here for a couple of days, so it's not yeah. the end of the world. Um, yeah, nice and central and quite open. Saved, but you know. Hey, this is what it is. <laughs> so we're going to go do a bit of a run around in town. Going to do the couple of hot lights of Mount Panorama. And I don't know what else we're going to get up to after that. But as always, we'll take you along to the ride and uh, show you what we can bloody get up to. Now listen, Jack, this is the bit where you can't touch things. Okay, it's just for looking. You're not allowed to, Jack. What on so earth is that? That is cool. It's so, super peed. It's the Thrust SSC. Yeah, it's going cool. so fast. Maybe very, very fast. Yeah. Now that's cool. Wow. 
That's a real race car, that one. We just saw that outside. Yeah, we did, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, it was like that. We seen that there yesterday, I saw it. That's like what they're doing the burnouts in at the moment. Whoa. This one set up. That one is a HT Monaro. And what is this one now? Very cool. And that's a VK Commodore. That's one. Hey look, come look, have a look at the exhaust. Look how big the exhaust is. It's sticking out the side of the car. Come over here, come over here. Look down there, look under the door. That's the exhaust. That's where all the flames and exhaust comes out. Whoa. Just um, reading the sign about this, this is a solar vehicle. It goes to 130 miles per hour, I think it was. Oh no, kilometers per hour and it makes 1.2 kilowatt of solar. And that's the same as our caravan. <laughs> the panels have come a long way, because that's quite a lot of solar. I was gonna say. Like the whole thing. Look how tiny the little grids are. The whole thing powers our whole caravan, that's insane. That's like a really cool way to sort of compare. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, wild. The solar must have come a long way then as well though, because what, it could only run the car, whereas ours runs our whole life. Yeah, literally. So it was very relevant, so I was interested in that. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. Smoke from here. Are you excited? Can you see the track? Yeah, and then it burned out. Yeah. Look. See the smoke? Yeah. I want to see it. Wow, we. Here we are. We're at the bloody track, Mount Panorama, the most famous track in the whole of Australia. I'll tell you what, it's almost surreal even standing here on the start line. It is something else. Because me as a young fellow, I used to grow up watching it all the time when it was on the TV and I was heavily involved in it, and the mum, mum's still very heavily involved in it today. So uh, yeah, this is this is a pretty epic moment to be standing here right now. It's pretty cool. I've watched a few bits and pieces. <laughs> I know what Bathurst is. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, Sean's probably not as deep into it as what I used to be, but uh, yeah, obviously things have changed, but we're not gonna go into all that, but we're here. And obviously when you come to Bathurst, this is just has to be right up there with one yeah. of the things you have to do. We went cannot did, not come. We did the museum the other day and had a look through there, but they had that burnout event on, so we couldn't drive the track. But today, yeah. now that it's all open and you can see behind us, it's yeah. available. Start line right there. We're going to make a little video clip up, so we've got an idea. Yes, we've got uh, quite a few ideas actually. We've had to write yeah. them down because we have so many ideas. Yeah. Um, but it's going to be pretty epic. I've got some high hopes this is going to turn out really, really cool. Mm -hmm. um, and just sort of showcase what we can do with a little video, but just have some fun with it at the same time. So. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Go!
Are you trying to do that so you don't? Holy <laughs> bloody moly! The sun's just next level right now. Always got to stand in the sun to get the best light. And yeah. It's never always the best bloody thing to do. I tell if you, you that. If you're not, if you're wearing sunnies, like look, you can't see our faces really. Yeah. So we take them off and just put them on our head. Anyway. I can't go without sunnies, and this is like brutal for me right now. <laughs> it's like being sunburned on your eyeballs. Oh. Frank one two. Little Frank one two. Can you pretend to walk in or something? Huh? Go walk in or something? Yeah, that's the point of view. Yeah, well, I'm filming. Wait. Oh, hang on. Can you pick up this nugget? I know, Mum. You ready? I don't want to eat it. No, just pick it up. Just pick it up and then you can put it back. Well done. Thank you. Oh, we're zoomed in. Hang on. Why do you do that? Here. Sorry, I missed it. Oh. <laughs> when I they stand here, it's just like, oh, there it is. It's they're nearly, right they're nearly as bad as no. Well, no. Yeah, well, they are nearly as bad as nose hairs. Sorry. <laughs> Far out. I've got Love the grand, granddad ear hairs Love going you. on. <laughs> Come on. Right on. Let's go. Hey, legends. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Please like subscribe and tell your friends. If you need more of a Big Oz fix, head over to our website, bigozexplorers.com for merch, information on our setup, places we've been, recipes, links to our socials, and much more. We look forward to seeing you for a new adventure next week. Cheers, guys. <laughs>